is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm gonna to do a quick video just to show you kind of a another Christmassy type flower I mean you could do it actually for any anything with the colors that I'm gonna use you can reverse the colors and use colors whatever you want to use but um, kind of a simple design something you've probably seen me do a, a gazillion times I'm gonna be using two a magic round brushes a 12 and an 8 and Aid Magic Flat Brush number two, Fine Liner by Westonia, and a Dotting Stylus. All these links are down below as affiliate links. You're welcome to purchase through those if you choose to do so. I'm going to be using all Folk Art paints, Engine Red, Thicket, Evergreen, Wicker White, and 14 karat gold. Again, a mixture of multi-surface and enamels are used. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna take my number 12 round brush, put it into the wicker white, and maybe stick it into a little bit of the 14 karat gold. I'm gonna begin by pressing down, pulling towards the center. Pressing down, pulling towards the center. And just continue doing that. Go around, oops, sorry, hit the camera there. It's the only problem with these long brushes there. They're long. All right, so you just push down and pull. You can make them thinner without putting as much pressure. And I like to just go back in, go over them, maybe put another few little strokes over the top. Just kind of make a few more layers. You don't have to go all the way around with this, but you can do it you know, just to add to the flower. And fill it in a little bit as well. Alright, so we'll just keep going. Round brushes are really easy to paint with. Again, you can see, you know, you can make these thick, thick puddles by pushing down. You can keep it thin without as much pressure. And just keep adding to it as you go. And I think with the gold in it that kind of lends to being like a holiday type of design. Now this one the petals are pretty much pretty much the same length. So I'm going to start off here by trying to do a little staggering of the of the petals because they don't all have to be the same length either. The main thing when you're painting, just take your time and relax. Use it as a form of relaxation. You, know, you don't have to be nervous and wound up while you're doing it. Just relax with it. All right, I'm gonna take my fine liner, stick it into my greens, and I'm gonna come through here and start putting in my little stem. And I can even go into the gold, add some gold to this as I'm working on it. Add some of the lighter green. Just keep in mind the thicker you make your, your painted design, the more durable it's going to be. Now I'm going to come out here, I didn't really do this on my design itself on the paper. But I'm going to come out here a little bit because I was actually able to make design a little bit looser because I had more room. And with this design on the bottle, I don't have as much room to play with. So I'm going to add a few stems. And I actually, I think, too, I came down as if I had 
more stems, not just one for all of them. So I'm just gonna kind of add that here at the bottom. I just remember that I did that too. But you can do it either way. Not a big deal. I'm off the thing, sorry about that. I just added to the bottom here. And I can just do another little bowl coming off of the actual vines. Just make it your own. It doesn't have to be anything specific. All right, so I'm gonna go in here, put using the number eight round brush, I believe that's an eight, going into the thicket. I can touch a little bit into the green, um, the evergreen. And I'm just gonna do where I push down and pull. And I can come here up against it. If I wanna tap into some of the white, I can do that as well. I'm just pulling it towards the stem. And I might touch into the flower itself a little bit, which that's okay. You can do that too. But you can see how easy it is to, to paint with one of these. It's just a nice little flow. Go over your, your flowers a little bit. And we can come in like that. And just very simple. Simple and pretty, right? And you can do it where you're actually putting two strokes right beside each other, going in the same direction, if you choose to do that. Or you can keep them separated. And go like this. All right, there you go. Then you can take the liner, come back in, still with the greens. So you can even throw in a little white or the gold, however you wanna do it. And I'm gonna come in here and start putting stems into my leaves. Now the one thing you have to keep in mind is it may not show up real well if the leaf is dark and the paint you're using is the same color. So you can you know, use a lighter color I'm just using what I have and coming in here and just quickly pulling a stem up through each one of the leaves. If you feel like you don't really want to do that part, it makes sense for them to already be attached because we're painting them right on the stem, then leave it, leave it be. And just leave it alone. All right, the next thing I'm going to do, I didn't put it on my plate. I'm just gonna use a cap, which is the engine red. I'm gonna take the dotting stylus and I'm gonna go into the center. And this is how I'm gonna complete the center is by just putting a lot of red little dots. They can be piled up on each other. up to you. And this one I kind of had have an opening in the center which you can do it either way. And I'm just putting 
putting a lot of dots in here. And you can do the same. Next thing I want to do is just come through here because with Christmas decor we do have a lot of the green and red together with the leaves. And you don't have to be specific where you're placing them. You can place them wherever you want. Just do it on the glass itself or you want to do it on the actual leaves. Again, that's up to you. But it just gives it the Christmas feel when you add, you know, some of the red to the green. Again, just placing them wherever you feel, feel the need. And there you have it. Pretty darn easy, right? And pretty. Again, I could see this being used as a Christmas bottle. I hope you like it. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. And before you leave, if you would take a moment to share this video on your social network, just hit the share button underneath the video. It'll give you the options of where you can share it and you'll be good to go. All right, until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one.